The Bible says the wounds from a friend can be trusted, but an enemy multiplies kisses. That means a friend is going to tell you the truth. He don't care if you get upset. He don't care if you get angry. He doesn't care if you get offended. He wants you to get right with God. And he's going to tell you the truth about your life. He's going to tell you the truth about the way you live. And he's going to tell you what you're doing is wrong. And you need to repent and get right with God. Yet an enemy, he's not going to do that. He's not going to confront you with the serious issues of the soul. And he's just going to pat you on the back all the way to hellfire. And there's a lot of Christians that do that. They just overlook people that's living in rebellion. They don't tell them nothing uh, about their rebellious life. They afraid to bring confrontation to the darkness that they're living in. They're afraid to call out the rebellion. They don't want to make men angry. They don't want to step on toes. And that's what the Bible means when it says the wounds from a friend can be trusted, but the enemy, he multiplies kisses. The friend's going to tell the truth even if it hurts a person. Yet the enemy is going to multiply kisses. The enemy's not going to tell them they need to repent. The enemy's not going to tell them that the life that they live in is wrong. He doesn't want to get them angry. He doesn't want to offend them. Because the enemy doesn't really love them. Would you tell them, Mr. Christian, that there's a judgment of hell fire? And if these people don't repent, they're going to go to hell? Would you tell them that there's a broad way that leads to hell fire, that many people travel on it, and there's only a narrow way that leads to life, and that narrow way is Jesus? That narrow way is Jesus Christ, and the way to enter onto that narrow way is that you got to repent, you got to believe the gospel? Would you tell them the truth, Mr. Christian? And don't just pat them on the back all the way to hell fire. Tell them they need to get right. Tell them that the Bible warns us that we need to live holy. The Bible says we have to live holy. Be ye holy, God says. Without holiness, no one will see the Lord. Yet Christians out there don't want to tell people that. They don't want to step on toes. They want to pat people on their back all the way to hell fire. Yet if we're going to love people... We're going to have to tell them the truth. And a lot of times they're not going to recognize that we love them. And they're going to look at us as an enemy. And they're going to come against us. They're going to get offended. They might attack us. They might verbally assault us. Because they don't recognize that we care for them. And uh, you're going to face opposition. Because you want to love people. Biblically. I'm talking about... Biblically loving them with the love of Christ. Jesus said, whom I love, I rebuke and chasten. If we love people, we won't want them to go to hell. If we love people, we won't want them to be judged by God. We're going to tell them the truth. We're going to tell them that they need to get right with God. We're going to tell them that there's only one name given amongst men that they can be saved. And it's Jesus. And they need to come to the Lord. They need to get right with Jesus. That there's a judgment and that if they don't repent, that they're going to go to hell. And it's not unloving to tell people that. What's unloving is when you call yourself a believer in the Lord and you watch all these people living in rebellion on their way to hell and you don't say nothing to them. You just let them go along on their little merry way as they go in peace to hellfire. The real Christian doesn't just let the sinner go to hell in peace. We stand in their way. We contend for their souls. We will step in the way and we will contend for them and we will look to snatch souls out of the flames of fire. We will rebuke them and tell them that they need to get right whether they like it or not. We don't want them to go to hell. We're going to contend for their souls. We're going to tell them that they need to get right with God because the real Christian loves people. And they're not looking to try to pat the people on the back and let them go peaceably on the hell fire. We're going to stand in their way. And we're going to bring a message of wake up 
to try to wake them up out of their sleep because everybody's in sleep land right now. You go out into the world, people are asleep. They dead in their trespasses and sins. They're in sleep land. They're in the sleep land of sin. And we need to come and bring the truth of God's word. We need to bring that message of wake up and tell them, look, wake up and get right with God. Wake up because judgment is coming. Wake up and repent because the kingdom of heaven is at hand.